Hi LCS artists, today we're going to be learning about an artist named Keith Haring. Keith Haring is famous for drawing figures, which are simple people that are often one color, in some sort of movement or action. Before we get started seeing more of his artwork, let's look at this video. In this video, the creator imagined that one of Keith Haring's paintings came to life. All the figures in movement are having a dance party. So that was just a quick intro to Keith Haring. Here is a picture of the artist himself standing in front of his paintings. Keith Haring is famous for making artwork that is bold and bright and catches your attention. He actually grew up in Pennsylvania and later made most of his artwork in New York City. If we look at Keith Haring's drawings, they all had the same characteristics. They often have very simple and stylized figures, so you won't see details like fingers or a face or even clothing. All the people are one solid color. You'll also see bold black lines that outline the figures and are often used to show movement as well. If you look carefully, there's lines around the people to show movement, action, or vibration. So this is one of Keith Haring's paintings. If you look carefully at the figures running across the top, they all have lines that show movement. Here's another painting by Keith Haring. Can you spot the characteristics of his art? Do you see the simple figure, the bold black lines, and the lines that show movement? He doesn't always use color. For example, this painting has white lines and all the figures are very close together. There's almost no space in between them. Keith Haring made paintings, but he also made murals, which are massive paintings often found on the side of buildings or on walls. If you look carefully at this painting, you can see Keith Haring standing at the very bottom underneath his artwork. When I look at this painting, I see all different kinds of figures that are moving. They are different colors and different shapes, but they all have the same characteristics. Big black lines, lines to show movement, and one solid color. This mural I actually saw in real life. My husband and I were driving around the city of Philadelphia, and I looked down a street and saw something very bright. So we had to turn around the car to check it out. This painting was made by Keith Haring, and you can see how the figures fill up the whole side of the building. This mural is a little bit unusual because most of the figures are solid, but some of them have patterns and designs inside of them. It was so cool to see Keith Haring's artwork in real life. Keith Haring also made some sculptures. Sculptures are art that stands up. When he made sculptures, they were often made of plastic and they did not have that thick black line around the outside. Keith Haring was famous for making activist art, which is art grounded in the act of doing, and it often addresses a political or a social issue. So when he first started his career to get attention for his art, he would draw in the subways in New York City. So he would go down underground where people get on the subway and wherever there was empty space, he would make a drawing with chalk. So here's just another picture of Keith working in the subway and he's drawing artwork. Oftentimes this would catch people's attention and soon he became a very popular artist. These are some examples of Keith Haring's activist art. This painting shows a message about caring for planet Earth. These paintings emphasize the importance of love. 
This painting is patriotic and supports the United States of America and everyone who lives in it. And finally, here's another painting that he made where you can see all the figures and the giant hands supporting our planet Earth. So that was just a little bit about artist Keith Haring. Thank you so much for learning with me.